Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Libra, I just want to give you guys a quick update. For those of you guys that are interested in private consultations, you can now go to our online store and purchase your consultations on there, whether it's the 30 minute live, sorry, the 30 minute telephone consultation or the video live reading. Uh, just want to let you guys know um, be mindful that at the this is the end of the year we get the busiest from October all the way to the beginning of next year um, and this is just something that we just have experienced right as the years have gone by the end of the year is always the craziest for us so just know that the availability is limited as soon as we're now booking for December and January so as soon as we get booked for those months you will no longer be able to uh, purchase any consultations until further notice. So just wanted to let you guys know. Let's get into your reading, Libra. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I don't know about you guys, but I love the holidays. Like as soon as we kick off October, it's like full throttle mode. <laughs> we are huge on holidays on this side. So anyways... Let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Please step forward and guide us. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Libra for the month of November 2021. Okay, we got cards popping out already. For the month of November 2021. Okay, I'm not feeling very heavy on these energies, but we do have here the Ten of Swords with the Prince of Pentacles. So there is an ending or some type of conclusion, Libra, for the majority of you. Um, you may be experiencing endings, whether it's in relationships or whether it's transitions for some of you guys when we're talking about career and finances. Um, there, is, there is a new opportunity that is going to be coming towards you when we're talking specifically about finances. This could be either getting an incentive. This can also represent um, taking an internship or some type of apprenticeship um, that is going to help you build on that to uh, pretty much go up the ladder when we're talking about uh, finances and career. Uh, for others of you, this could represent coming to a conclusion in a relationship where it's been a very long and difficult um situation it could be you know having trouble letting go having trouble moving on or accepting that it's no longer working and for this month of november i feel that you're being shown um a different path you're being shown how easy it can be when we're talking about romance when we're talking about relationships and easy in the sense that either there is a complete ending for some of you guys some type of conclusion for some of you guys there could have been a recent breakup but i feel like you're going to feel when that happens or when you're going through that transition of that ending or that ending cycle there's almost like a sigh of relief because the struggle is no longer there so it's almost like if you've been holding on to a relationship that hasn't been working for a while um and it, you find it difficult to either move on or to let go of this, when it happens or when that transition happens where there is some type of break, some type of separation, you will start to fall into like feeling more, more of yourself um, or feeling more like yourself. And the not having to struggle, the not having to walk on eggshells, it's going to resonate more with you. So there is almost like an aha moment of why did I hold on for so long? That type of energy. I'm going to put them back in and let's see what spirit has for you guys. I feel like for some of you guys, that message, that message is going to resonate. For others, it may not. Um, I didn't feel the energy very strong with those, but let's see. Okay. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's get into your reading. Yeah, so, wow, okay, totally resonated, right? <laughs> okay, it's like I just said, I feel like those two cards gave me the whole, 
the whole um, the whole spiel here. So we have the three of swords. There's some type of defeat, some type of hurt, um, betrayal, um, feeling like all the work, all the effort, all the energy in this connection or in this relationship has came to the culmination of no longer wanting to um, continue basically battling to make this relationship survive or to make this relationship work. Um, the Three of Swords here with the Five of Cups is really missing and thinking of the person, right? Um, it's almost like there is, there was this hurt for some of you guys. Um, those of you guys that are currently experiencing like a third party situation or you found out that your partner wasn't being completely honest with you. It's almost like you've submerged yourself so much into the sorrow of the breakup of the acknowledging that your partner is no longer there um and i feel like you're like i said submerging yourself into that energy um to the point where it's creating a lot of imbalance in your life right now for some of you guys this could even represent um hoping and wishing that the person comes back to you um but the Two of Pentacles is asking you to really think of it or see this situation as a whole. So what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, it's kind of like when you break up with someone and you're so consumed with the missing them, the thinking of them, the feeling like I've lost them completely, that you kind of forget all the fuck ups they've done because you're so, like I said, you're so submerged into the acknowledgement that they're no longer there um and it's like not thinking clearly why because you're just purely focused on the being left the being left or the being left out cold or being cut out from communication it's like you're completely focusing on the missing of the partner that you're not really looking at the fact that perhaps the partner or person you were dealing with probably wasn't a good person or perhaps it wasn't even a person that you like that has all the qualities that you're looking for in a partner. Um, and again, because you're looking at it through lenses of it didn't work out, all the effort and energy that I put into it. For some of you guys, if you are dealing with hurt um, or some type of betrayal, it's the feeling of like kind of forgetting about the betrayal itself because you are vibrating from an energy of your ego, right? You've been hurt. Um, your pride is hurt. Um, you feel, like I said, taken for granted, that, that type of energy that you're not fully seeing the whole picture of how they mistreated you, of how they took you for granted, of were they even, you know, putting effort in the relationship? Were they even... Um, satisfying you in every single aspect of when it comes to what you're looking for in a partner. So again, what they're telling you is, I feel that there is a major transition that is happening here where once you get out of that rut or once you get out of the feeling of missing the person, you start to see the bigger picture and you realize by the end of the month with the six of wands that there are better opportunities for you out there that you've been selling yourself short, that you've been settling when we're talking about relationships and partnerships, that it's time for you to start thinking about really what you bring to the table and not settling for anything less than what you truly deserve, Libra. I hope that this gives you some type of insight. I hope it gives you some type of guidance. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see each other soon. Bye.